okay so welcome back to my channel and in this video we will do some question name Harikshin company okay the first requirement of the question is calculate the expected NPV of investment project and comment on its financial acceptability second critically discuss <coughs> its sensitivity sensitivity analysis will assist Harikshin Harikshin company in assessing in the risks of the investment project so and third describe the process that would be undertaken to decide whether to lease or buy an asset for the long term investment okay so basically for second and third it's a purely theory so you have to write about the sensitivity analysis how it uh, and its process to assess the risks how we used to calculate the sensitivity margin everything you have to mention it's for the six marks and in third question, uh, the question is asking uh, the process to decide whether to lease or buy. Uh, we used to calculate NPV for the uh, lease as well as buy and then we will compare NPV and based on that we, we used to take a decision. Right? <coughs> so, let's do the calculation part. Uh, the question is asked to calculate expected NPV and as well as it's also told to comment on its financial acceptability. So don't forget to comment on the its financial acceptability. It also carry a mark between 0 0.5 to 1. Okay. So question is Harrison company is appraising a investment project which has a expected life of 4 years. And uh, okay. So project life is... We'll take three zero uh, uh, common in our calculation and project life is four year which has been told in the question and which will not be repeated means it uh, only for the four year after that it won't be repeated the initial investment and payable at the start of the first year of operation is five million so initial investment is minus five thousand i have taken three zero common <coughs> And scrap value of 500 is expected to rise at the end of the fourth year. So residual value is 500 which we, we will receive at the end of the four year. There is some, some uncertainty about what price can be charged for the unit produced by the investment project as this is expected to depend on the future state of the economy. The following forecast of selling price and their probability has been prepared. Okay. So we do have given the the future economic state weak medium and strong and along with that the probability has been assigned uh, to the each economic state respectively and the selling price has also been given for the uh, each economic state so what we will do we will take selling price expected selling price and how do we get that we will simply take 25 into of 35 into 35 percent then uh, 30 for the medium and probability assigned to it is 50 percent <coughs> then <coughs> 35 into 15 okay so it's 29 selling price okay so uh, after that uh, this selling price are expected to subject to annual inflation of 4% per year. Means this is in the real terms. Okay. Real terms. Expected NPV. Okay. <coughs> or you can do one thing. You can show this calculation in the separate part as well as there is inflation. Okay, so here we will do uh, working. So working. Working one. So our 
real term expected selling price is 29 and it will be same throughout the year but it is in the real term the question has told it will be inflate by uh, 4% per year so now uh, a nominal term expected selling price so what we will do we will take the our selling price and multiply it by 1 plus 4 percent and power you will take to the year or one okay so it is for the one year and copy shift so it will automatically calculate for the rest of the year and how it calculate you can have a look on the formula bar it have taken the 29 then 1 plus 4 percent but this time not one it will take two uh, k one means here two so and for this l1 means 3 only power has been changed okay okay so this is our nominal terms expected selling price after that the question told regardless of which economic state prevails in the future the forecast sales and production volume and total nominal variable cost has already been forecasted as follow so <coughs> we do have given the sales and production unit so sales unit is 150 one, okay we have taken 30 common 150 four, okay next year is 250 and 400 then 300 okay so now here we can uh, revenue okay and we will simply multiply the sales unit with nominal selling price okay then do copy paste over the rest of the year okay now it's time for it's, it's time for next what we have nominal variable cost okay so variable cost already is in the nominal term so we don't need to incorporate inflation so nominal variable cost just a second okay i think my earphone has not been connected <coughs> okay so now variable uh, cost is already in the nominal term so we will simply do uh, and it has already been calculated so 2385 we don't need to multiply it with the unit and 30 has already been taken so minus 4200 minus 7080 and minus 5730 so now we will get contribution right so okay i hope you guys are clear up to this point right so now next is what question is telling incremental overhead of 400 uh, thousand per year in current price term will rise as a result of undertaking the investment project and large proportion of these overheads relate to the energy costs which are expected to increase sharply in the future because energy supply is shortage so overhead inflation is 10 percent per year so now it's turn for the overhead so of nominal overhead the overhead has been given in the real terms so now we have to inflate it so how do we do that uh, just take the overhead multiply with its inflation rate which is given 10 percent okay and power ko upar le ja ke pe dal do so that ki it will automatically calculate it will automatic automatically take the uh, years as its power for the rest of the period okay you can see here so d2 means power 2 and e2 means power 3 okay f2 
सो दिस इज आवर ओवर हेड कॉस्ट द इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट वेट ट्रैक द टैक्स अलाउबल डेप्रिशिएशन ऑन द स्ट्रेट लाइन बेसिस ओवर द फोर ईयर प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ so tax allowable depreciation should be calculated on the straight line basis okay and the rate of corporation tax is 30% and tax liability are paid in the year in which they arise means uh we won't have to shift uh, we are this this is not the case of arrears and advance okay simply the year in which the tax arise we have to uh, pay in that year okay so now taxable cash flow it will be copy this paste okay now let's tax the tax rate is 30% right so calculate for the rest of the year <coughs> okay so now we will add tax relief which we which we will get on the initial investment right and uh, in previous video i have been told uh, in case of wdv we uh, can calculate through shortcut as well as through the process but here the question has told to calculate the tax allowable depreciation on the basis of the straight line so don't have to uh, apply those the what we used to do in the wdv okay simply just take the uh, initial investment which is in our case is 5000 and divide it by the uh four which is its useful life and multiply it okay no, sorry sorry uh, first we have to deduct the uh residual value then divide by four and then multiply by the tax rate which in our case is 30 okay and the question has told that the tax will be paid in the same year so don't have to skip for, uh, for the uh, next year okay Okay, so net cash flow okay, so let's calculate and p v plus and p v <laughs> and uh, Uh, while taking the discount rate be sure it should be in the nominal rate okay the question told harikshan company has traditionally used a nominal after tax discount rate of 11% per year for the investment appraisal okay so it already have been calculated we don't have to calculate so uh, 11% right 11% Okay. Okay, we got it. Our expected NPV. So now we have to comment as well. And what you will comment? Uh, since the NPV of the project or investment is positive, so project is uh, financially acceptable, right? Mm, okay, but you uh, you can also mention like uh, for the selling price probability has been assigned and according to probab probability we got our selling price twenty nine. So what if it uh, goes above this, and what if it uh, no? Uh, what if it goes below this? If it will go below this, our NPV uh, will be reduced, right? And you can see like this. Uh, suppose. we have 25 here okay 25 okay so in this case our npv will be 1228 but still it is positive but it will be is a uh, the shareholder uh, wealth maximization uh, will be reduced right it won't be maximized in previous case it is maximized by the uh, 3800 something right but it has now it uh, has now been reduced to uh, 1228 so this thing you have to mention in the comment okay 
so uh, like uh, uh, if now uh, according to the probability sign we got our selling price 29 but if it will fall below this there is 35 35% uh, chances of getting the selling price 25 so in that case our NPV will be reduced but still it is positive it still it is uh, it still the project is acceptable but the uh, shareholder uh, wealth will be reduced okay so this is the things you have to mention and next uh, is the theory part uh, i must suggest you i must suggest you guys to read the book kaplan text uh, if uh, uh, it is uh, I must see you, you guys have with the books uh, Kaplan text so read the book truly uh, it will be uh, very helpful for you guys to tackle the theory part uh, for FM okay so there is no any shortcut method uh, there is no any tips and tricks for the theory the simple solution is to you have to read the book truly okay so in this video we will do this much and uh, in next video we will go for the Hebco company question okay so, please stay tuned with my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates.